What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be looking at JDM cars for sale in South Africa. This is episode number two. We're going to do one of these once a month. There's just not that many JDM cars for sale here. So once a month, that's what it's going to be. So the first car that we have on the screen here is a Toyota Celica ST185. It's the Carlos Sainz Limited Edition, number 2930 out of 5,000 ever built. This is the European UK version. The Japanese version was the RC model, so it's a two liter turbo, it's got four wheel steering, four wheel drive, and it's got a water to air intercooler. It's a pretty cool car. This one used to be mine, like this actual car. This is the only one in South Africa. I sold it about eight years ago, plus minus. I probably should have never sold it. I sold it for a lot less than what the guy's asking for now. We're not gonna dabble too much on this, but so I bought the car a little while ago and the plan was to restore it and get it back to optimum condition and just keep it. <sighs> Things came up, I was young and stupid and I sold the car and thinking, oh, I'll just get another one in the future. That never happened. Well, turns out it's the only one in South Africa and uh, a subscriber who's probably watching this right now, his father used to own this exact car and we, we made contact recently and he said, hey, that was his dad's car, blah, 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 and well, it used to be my car, and crazy stuff. So his dad imported it from overseas, brought it into the country, and I'll end up buying it thereafter. Anyway, it's for sale now with a lot of stuff. And uh, the dude's pulled out the engine. Um, he's done a lot of stuff. I'm not going to read through this. I mean, you can pause the video, take a look. He's got a GT3582 turbo, he's got a whole lot of stuff in, uh, with regards to the internals of the engine. Very, very cool car. He doesn't have a lot of photos on here. He's actually only got two photos of the car. So, this is the car when I used to own it. I don't know what it looks like now. This is the day that I actually bought it, this interior picture. So it was missing this little trim thing here, but I, I did get a new one. Gear lever, I don't remember if I changed, I don't think I got around to it, but I had the, the, the mats recon and it came out really well. The engine bay was horrific when I first got it. I may have a picture of the engine bay when I first got it, one second. That was the engine bay when I first got it. Not so great. So look at that metadata on the picture. 2013, 07, 20, 2021. Taken from an iPhone 4S. Okay, so 2013, and then I placed the order for the GTR at the end of 2013. So I sold this in 2013. Anyway, this is my old car. There's my old Subaru in the background. And we're spending too much time on this. Right, that was my old car, very cool. Owners immigrating and uh, well, he needs to get rid of it. Moving on, next car we've got here is a Subaru GT. Now, this is an import version, and I'll tell you why. We had a spec called the GT Turbo. Now, essentially, it was the same as any other GCA WRX out there, the JDM version. Now, we received this, it was an Australian spec car, and we referred to it as a GT. GT Turbo, EJ20, turbocharged, all-wheel drive, all the bells and whistles. This is a 996. We only got ours in 98, 97, 98. It looks different when you when you start looking at the interior. There's a picture here somewhere. Okay, so ours we didn't have a gear lever rubber thing like that. We had full leather. The dashboard was very different to this. This is the JDM style dashboard. Um, with regards to the engine bay, it's, it's not the cleanest by any means. But if the car is running, it's actually still a decent deal. There's an issue with this car that I picked up. And I find it kind of strange. And it looks like it might have a resprayed front end. So this front end doesn't belong to this car at all. This front end is from an only aspirated version. And you can actually see by those little slits there in the front. Color looks slightly more milky than the rest of the car. I think there was front end damage and they replaced it with a non-turbo front end. 
So not a bad buy if you're a first time JDM owner. It's probably the car to go for. Get that, change the front bumper, change the rear, ta rear tail lights, put those clear ones in, and you'll have a pretty decent deal. Moving on, get some rotary action. Expensive rotary action. This, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful car. It's a lot of money. 330,000 Rand, which equates to 24,000 US dollars. Now he does have what seems to be like some wide body kit. No idea on the brand. Um, bonnet, I have no idea. It looks like a charge speed maybe. Before we get into this road reaction, I want to take a look at the description very quickly. So it's SA registered. Valid license, body condition excellent. The motor has been done by AJ Racing. AJ Racing builds some of the best rotaries in South Africa. Best components used from Japan, HKS TO4Z, so old school ball bearing turbo. He's got tainful full race coilovers. Uh, he's got Cusco internal roll cage, Cusco strut braces. He's got raised wheels. RE Mamiya V mount intercooler, 5 liter search tank with extra Bosch fuel pumps. I'm sure there's a lot more stuff that he didn't list. Like, I don't know, are those Ganadors? Are they real? Right. HKS super power flow intake, polished alloy, intercooler piping. Can't really see much here. This is like one of those dampeners, engine dampeners, brake brace thing. Ah, that's what he was talking about. That is super cool. I like that. Sparko steering wheel, Defi gauges. Missing the little trim piece here. Minor, minor stuff. Here's the search tank. Stripped rear seats. Holy shit. <laughs> it's got a full parts list here. HKS GT2 wastegate. I wonder if he got all of the stuff from Japan or did he, did he buy the car like this and did a few minor mods? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Name brand, name brand, name brand, name brand. I see why he's asking that money for this car. Aha, they are Ganadors. Ganador carbon mirrors, full respray, RMME. Oh shit. It's not a charge speed, it's not a feed kit, it's an RMME carbon hood. Damn, you got a lot of stuff in the car. Can't look at it anymore. Let's move on. Okay, this one's super cool and it's cheap as well. What's the issue? You've got four. 82,000 rand for this car in dollars, that is $5,800 plus minus. This, however, cannot be registered in South Africa. So as you can see, this car is registered in Botswana. I can help with the change of ownership. Change of ownership into Botswana, but not into South Africa. So it kind of sucks. Can't legally drive this car as a South African citizen. It is, however, a cool car for the price. Love one of these. Right, moving on, we've got an exotic car for sale. It's a Mitsubishi GTO. Exotic car. Okay, I don't know. It's a 1997. Now he puts here a 3000 GTO, so it should either be a 3000 GT or a GTO. It's not the same. This is a GTO, as you can see by the back. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure. I mean, if you look at the description here, it doesn't say anything. All I know is got 90,000 kilometers in automatic. It's probably a normally aspirated piece of shit, to be honest, which means it's front wheel drive. Look at the ride height on this thing. Terrible. He's asking a lot of money for what this is. I'm sure it's not the twin turbo version being an automatic. Did they make automatic twin turbos? I don't know. I saw a black one for sale the other day. So keen. I saw the ad, the ad was on for like 10 days. By the time I saw it, it was like late at night, and then um, I went to go look again in the morning and now I can't find it. It was a black one, dude wanted 75,000 rand for it, which is less than that Evo, so it would be about $5,000. This yellow one, 
the dude ones, 9,285. The other one was a twin turbo version, it was SA registered as well, meaning I can drive it around anywhere I want, and I could license it in my name. Next, 160k for this car, it's about $10,000 plus minus. It's got a Sylvia badge in the back. Sparco wheel, I'm not sure what brand gauges those are. He's got a Sparco steering knob, gear knob. He's got a Apex C ABCR boost controller. That looks like water meth. Maybe you're wrong. We'll check the description in a second. Big single turbo, this is an SR20 DET. Nice. That, that's actually quite a cool little setup here with the oil catch cap. Okay, so that definitely was across my name. So it's SR20 DET notch top. So it's fully forged bottom end. You've got cams, rocker springs, blah blah blah. He's got. So you've got. 38 mm external wastegate, and then he's got an HKS SSQV valve valve. There we go. Devil's Own Progressive Methanol kit. So it was water meth in the boot or trunk. And then he's got the Apex C Power FC. Same as me on my Silver RX7 and the R32 GTR. Super cool. There we go. Apex C Power FC. Nice. A lot of money there. Maybe it's worth it for the parts. I don't know for me. Moving on. Cool car. Color is questionable. Let's read the description first. Guy wants a lot of money for it. 65,000 kilometers on it. Fully built. SA registered. There is a spec It's got a BMW 6-speed gearbox in it. Stock bottom end on the Tudor Z GTE. He's got an AEM ECU. T72 ball bearing. He's making almost 600 horsepower on pump fuel. Nice. That's a lot of power. He is wanting a lot of money. He wants 46, 47,000 US dollars for it. Questionable color. Questionable color on the wheels too. Candy apple. I wouldn't even know what color this is. Gray, blue. Weird. I don't know. I know that's for the speed and sound car. I did see it in one issue. That is a um, gritty OLED boost controller thing. I forgot the full name of it. It was a gritty device. Oh, there we go. Speed and sound magazine. Don't look for happiness. Build it. Nice engine bay. Super neat. I would have gone with this color in the engine, but only maybe. I don't know. Your car, if whoever buys it, can respray it. Nice. Good job. Moving on to the final few Skylines. Films R33. Asking a lot of money for it. No details. Contact for more details. So I can tell you right off the bat that it looks like a GT35 something. Uh, it's got that cool Tamai um, see-through doohickey here. I'm lost words tonight. Tamai sticker thing. Jeez, I can't talk. That's my oil cap. He's got an arc. That is awesome. The dude spent a lot of money. So he's got an arc. Um, Damn it, I said it just now the other car. What is this damn thing called? It is a uh, oil catch cap. It's late. I'm tired. Please forgive me. Hmm, what else have you got? Big aluminium radiator. He's still running the uh, stock fan. I forgot what you call that thing. Big ass uh, strut brace. I don't quite know what make this is. This could be the Anismo one. Someone in the comment section tell me what you think that is. Nice. That is an HKS EVC5. This is like HKS gauges. Don't know what that is. 
that ECU, I'm not actually sure what it is. This my gear knob. 71,000 kilometers on it, that's nothing. Momo racing line or Momo, yeah, it's just the Momo racing line wheel. I think it's sick. A lot of money there. Oh, look at that. Full pass list. Custom race. T6 manifold. Oh, it's a Grady Trust T78. Okay, so it's not a GT35. My bad. Grady external waste gate. Grady clear cam cover. So it wasn't a Tomai. My bad. 720cc injectors. I already had it. This thing was whole ass. Blitz front bumper. Top secret dark carbon. Single skin bonnet. Very rare. Shit, okay. Dude's got money. Okay, let's go to the last one. 1984 R32 GTR with a little bit of a mods list. Let's see what's in there before I look at the mods list. Okay, <laughs> that was easy. Uh, so he's taken off all the black paint on here, just like I've done. This looks pretty simplistic. Ah, he's got 10 EDFC coilovers with uh, what's called electronic dampener function control so in the interior he can adjust his ride height his softness stiffness etc all fully electronic which is pretty cool there's a boost controller here mm, no oil catch can however it is rooting back into the intake looks like possibly a koyo machine motor radiator and that, I'm going to try again and say GT3582. There we go. 10 EDFC coilovers. Um, it looks like a, a Blitz turbo timer. Don't know what gauge that is. Oh, the dude's got an Evo as well. Lucky you. Nice car, I love these in white. Not sure what exhaust that is. Cool pictures. Description. Low mileage, single turbo, precision. Damn it. <laughs> precision 66 six, six. So he spent some money on that turbo. Uh, 750cc injectors. He's got a water meth kit. He's got a Heltec Elite ECU. Tain electronic suspension coilovers. Full HKS case exhaust. Major services. Dunn Campbell water pump. In one oil pump, which is awesome. From running to cool an aluminium radiator. No make. Car is super clean. 450,000 rand. 450,000 rand is 32,000 US dollars. So a little bit pricey for. I don't know. This is it pricey? What's the mileage on it again? 163,000 kilometers. I like it. I like the, the simplistic looking mods. And when I do single turbo online, it's probably going to look similar-ish to this with a different intake obviously i'm going to go for those uh twin greedy intake thing i've already bought it so it's a twin piece that comes out and i'll have two filters on it because i'm still using my math because i'm going to keep my apexy pyro c um, because i'm an idiot and a cheap ass and blah 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 i'm not here for huge goals gains power can't talk guys i'm going to end the video here hope you enjoyed it this was JDM Cars for Sale in South Africa, episode two. I'll see you again in a month for this series, and I'll see you next week for another video. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Peace. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the f*** are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they blocking your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're dreaming